Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we will be doing a cash stuffing. I did not upload a budget with me, but that is because yesterday, Wednesday, I did actually get a new car. So if you do not follow me on Instagram, you wouldn't know about that. Um, and I will explain a little bit about it in a second. Besides that, we will be stuffing $248. I was not able to get a budget with me up, like I said, because I did actually purchase a new used car. We did decide to co-sign on a new car because we had been looking, or it's a used one, sorry. We had been looking for one for Jordan anyway so since I did put more on a down payment than he did I don't have to pay the first car payment or the first insurance bill because he wants to match me in the amount that I paid the other thing is that since we co-signed together and bought a new used car um, my monthly payment with the car as well as insurance is less than $250 a month I love our car it has only 46,000 miles on it. It's almost basically to me brand new because I bought my current car at 115,000 miles. So it's amazing. I'm happy with my decision. Um, and a lot of you guys luckily have been very nice to me over Instagram. But anyway, we're just going to go ahead and dive right in. I do have a ton of new envelopes to show you guys today. And I'm super, super excited. So we're going to start with my coin jar because I did get Chick-fil-A coffee today and I used cash. So I did get some change. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff this into our jar. Um, and let me know if you guys want me to be stuffing it monthly or kind of holding it in this bag. And then whenever we do like the monthly check-ins, then stuffing the jar. So let me go ahead and turn it on so we can all see where we're at. So we're starting at 58.48 and I'm going to go ahead and stuff the coins. Okay, so we are now at 59.22. I got this cute little coin purse from Hobby Lobby, if anyone is curious about that. And then the coin jar is from Walmart. So we are going to start with our cash envelopes as always, which I keep in this small wallet that I got from TJ Maxx. My envelopes are also from the Planning Dancer. They're minis, and I did a custom order with sea turtles on them. So gas is going to be getting $15. I still have the full $30 that we ended last week with which is absolutely amazing but now that we have two vehicles I don't want to be taking out gas I'd rather let it roll over even though we're going to be paying for gas less frequently now because we have two vehicles but gas now has 10 20 30 35 40 and then 45 dollars so 45 into gas which is very good especially now that gas prices are rising um, let me know what your gas prices are where you are I think right now we're at like two three 30 maybe which for being in Texas is a little bit high but that's fine so food is going to be getting $20 today it does seem that we have $5 in here so I am just gonna let this roll over because I don't really have anywhere else I'd want to put this $5 bill in so we're gonna have 25 into food so after food we have fun so fun does have some money left over it has one two and three dollars so they're really nasty ones but I'm gonna set this aside in the last compartment because that goes into entertainment and we're gonna be giving fun ten dollars today so let's go ahead and stuff this envelope as well and then write ten dollars over here so spending is not going to be getting stuffed, but it still has the $10 that has been rolling over for about two weeks now, which is absolutely amazing. But there are all of my cash envelopes stuffed. So next we're going to move on to my bills. I did also get my bill envelopes from the Planning Dancer. It's another custom order with paw prints. I think she might be bringing these to her shop as a listing, but if not, you can definitely always just ask her for them. They're also in the light blue um, hollow envelopes. So phone bill is going to be getting skipped it does have a full payment in here which is 20 30 40 50 55 60 and then 65 but i will likely be taking those 15 dollars out and moving them somewhere um since i i don't know i don't really even need it so <laughs> there's 65 i don't want to get ahead on next month's payment because since i did get a new car my mom wanted me to pay for gap which is where if something happens to my vehicle and i'm not done paying my loan i don't have to come up with that money they'll just come write a check that completely covers the rest of it and it was about fifty dollars extra a month which is why my mom was like i'd rather you get that than pay me for your phone so best buy is going to be getting ten dollars today i did just make a payment today for the month of april so we now have twenty dollars 
into Best Buy, which means that we're only one more week away from our minimum payment for the month of May. So after Best Buy, we have Credit Builder. This one has $88. It's not going to be getting stuffed because my monthly payment is $44 a month. Then we have extra debt payment. It's not going to be getting anything either. I did use all of what was in this on my Discover because that is what I also use for like any business expenses. So Thrive slash BarkBox is not getting stuffed. It has $20, which is fully stuffed for the month of May. Or April, sorry. Stuff for April. And then rent is only getting $50 this week. Um, the reason I decided to do that is because putting $150 a week is overshooting the amount that I would even need for rent and utilities. I just rather like get ahead like while I can. So rent now has $100, $200, $250, $300, and then $350. So $350 into our rent envelope which is still really really good considering my income so that's amazing then we have savings so we have car payment and car insurance which I'm gonna have to be adding but I have to place an order with Jordan shop but since I don't have to pay for next month and Jordan will cover it I'm just not even gonna worry about getting that envelope pretty soon or even setting money aside just yet is going to be savings. Savings is going to get five dollars. As you guys can see I did take out a lot of the envelopes I had down here. It's just because the 100 envelope challenge um, whatever I would be putting into that is basically what I'm now putting into rent so it would have just been hurting me if I tried to do all of that at once. So savings is getting five and we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So 21 dollars into savings. I don't like the way that I wrote that so 20 one and now we're going to go ahead and put this back in here and after savings we have emergency fund so emergency is going to be getting ten dollars today which is still pretty nice so let's go ahead and stuff this one so emergency does have some money in the bank but we'll talk about that in a second so we have 50 70 90 100 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and 37. So 137 plus another 100 equals 237. And so this is for my next 1,000. I do already have 1,000 saved in emergency fund. I just have that deposited into my account. And the reason I'm not tracking it here is because I want to just get $1,000 a year and track that. So taxes is not going to be getting anything this week. Um, let's see what it ended with so I can have an updated total. It ended with $733. So $733. Then we have student loans, which is going to be getting $5 today. I do get comments as to why I put so little in this. Um, I do have two years of school left, and then after that there's a grace period, so I have more than enough time to save up. But I'm also hoping that since my student loans don't total to a lot of money, that if any amount is forgiven that it covers all of my loans so I don't want to pay before I have to but student loans has five six seven eight nine ten and eleven dollars so eleven right here I also didn't mention this because I think I might get a lot of questions but I did get a Jeep Renegade as of right now I think when I edit this video I'll go ahead and insert a picture but that is the car that I got if anyone is curious so here is my sinking fund binder I have a couple of things I want to say about this so um, coming to my shop pretty soon I plan to offer like budget binder kits with either the sea turtle cash envelopes which are these as well as this dog design that I just made so I have this puppy design and I plan to release a kitty design also and so I'm gonna have budget binder kits that have this holographic binder or this same material but just in clear that way you guys can get whichever suits your fancy so these envelopes I did also just make on my own but if anybody's curious about just getting envelopes with text like this definitely check out Tara's shop she sells them in so many cute different fonts and colors so yeah first is going to be Amanda and Amanda is gonna get one dollar this is kind of like a spending category for me or like for tattoos or to get my hair done like whatever I want so there's two dollars now in here so let me just go ahead and fill this in over here and then we have Black Friday this was usually an extra but I just wanted to move everything into one spot so Black Friday is just gonna be getting a single dollar today and we're gonna see what this is at now so Black Friday has 10 20 25 26 27 28 29 30 and 31 
that's literally insane you guys I didn't even think I'd have like 20 bucks already but that's good so after Black Friday we do have business so business is just gonna be receiving ten dollars since we did already pick a winner for um, I think the giveaway that happened about two weeks ago now so I have to shift that gift out soon so there's now 10 15 and then twenty dollars into business which should cover it since she's not international and she's not too too far so there's twenty dollars into business so after business we have car maintenance this one's gonna be getting ten dollars today um, I do plan to bulk this up quite a bit because I have that part for my Kia that I have to buy but then the Jeep also didn't come with floor mats and we want to buy some from the Jeep company because they kind of like pan up and since we plan to move by the beach it would just be very helpful to have that so that sand doesn't get completely everywhere but car maintenance now has 20 30 40 45 and then 46 so $46 into our car maintenance envelope so after car maintenance, we now have Christmas. I'm so sorry if you can hear the dogs playing with each other, but it's better if they're outside than being like in the room playing because then it's going to be like really loud. So Christmas is going to be getting $10 today, which is normally what it gets. Um, and the progress with just $10 a week, you guys, is absolutely insane. So we have 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So $170 into Christmas. So let's go ahead and put this back as well. Okay, so after Christmas we have clothing. So clothing is gonna get five. It is currently empty because I bought myself some undergarments as well as a really cute shirt from Walmart the other day. So there is five dollars into my clothing envelope. Then we have Disney. Disney is just gonna be receiving a single dollar today. Um, but that's totally fine. It's still something. So Disney has 5, 10, 11, 12, and 13 dollars. So 13 into Disney, which is not even like a lunch there, I bet. <laughs> but there is that. So then entertainment is getting one dollar today that I budgeted for it, but then it also gets the rollover from fun. So we have a total of one, two, three, and four dollars going into entertainment, which means we have a total of four because it is currently empty. Usually we'll use entertainment for like the drive-in theater because that's a good way to social distance while still seeing some movies. Um, we plan to go to the botanical gardens, which um, to enter or to get a dog in is $5 and I have four. So like that's not going to hurt me too much and then Jordan will probably pay for our tickets. So next is going to be health and toiletries. This is getting $1. I have this category for... Um, like my shampoo, conditioner, vitamins, nail polish, makeup, like stuff like that. So it's going to be getting $1 today and it has money because I took some money from miscellaneous as well as my hair envelope, um, whatever else it was because like I got rid of miscellaneous also. And then when I got rid of retirement, I made new car and even $300 for in the envelope at least and then everything else I kind of stuff other places. So Health and Toiletries has $10, $15, 16 17 and $18, which I might just take from this because I did buy myself some new shampoo and conditioner the other week, and so might as well just pull it now that the money's in here. Holidays and Birthdays is going to be getting $1. Um, it did go down because I bought Violet a huge like package of just a ton of toys from Amazon, and I had that ship over there, which is super exciting. So there is $2 in Holidays and Birthdays. So then we have home. Home is going to be getting $41 because if you are new here, it does receive the 52 week challenge. And so we are on week 41. So let's go ahead and factor this in as well as count it. I plan to use this money for a mattress if anyone is curious. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. So you have 172 plus 300, which means you have a total of 472, which is absolutely amazing. So there is all of that money going back into home. So after that, we have Jordan. He's not going to be getting any money today. Um, I'll just go ahead and fill in these totals later. So move out is also not getting stuffed, and same thing with pet needs. I do plan to ch like to change pet needs to cover like my guinea pig food, fish food, as well as Wanda's food. So that would all be coming from this envelope. So then we have planner. Planner is just going to be getting one dollar today. 
I really do want to get a planner that starts with July and then have a place to save up for like stickers and stuff. I would be using it for budgeting because I want to try to get back into like weekly check-ins. So I'm telling Jordan to hold me to this because it's like I know it'll be so fun. So school is also not getting stuff today and then travel is going to be getting $25. Oops I took out another five. So travel is going to be getting $25 today. This total did also go up because when I got rid of retirement once again I did throw some money into this envelope so that I could be slightly ahead. So travel now has $100. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, and 67. So $167 into travel, which is still so fun. I'm like, ugh, you guys, I can't wait till you know where I'm going. And then it's literally going to be so fun. So after that, we have Wanda. So Wanda is going to be getting $5 today. Um... You'll see why in a second because now there's two envelopes with her. So she has a total of 55 in her envelope now. So let's go ahead and put this back. And then after Wanda, Little Miss Thing literally has her own envelope for toys. So she is going to be getting $10 today. I do plan to also use this envelope for like any clothing items that I get her because yes, I do get her clothes and she actually really loves to wear them, which is very exciting. Jordan bought her a fanny pack the other day, which is super cute, but... Anyway, she has 10, 20, 21, and 22 dollars into toys. So Lord knows she's gonna go on a little shopping spree later, which is gonna be so fun. Or I might buy her the same pack of toys I got Violet since it's only like 15 dollars. But that is all of my envelope stuff. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I literally, like, whenever I think about sitting down and filming a video, it makes me so happy that I know so many of you are going to come watch and chat with me in the comments. I love when you talk to me about, like, anything. Like, I just love having conversations with you all because I still can't fathom the fact that, like, you guys like watching me. We're our own little community. Like, you are literally my friends. And it's, like, just, ugh. I literally love it so much. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe and comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.